सर स्टार्ट सर हम शैल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर लेट अस अनलिश द पावर ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एज अ सर्वर्स बियॉन्ड द बोर्ड रूम डिवाइन इनटू एन एनलाइटनिंग टॉक सीरीज वेयर वी अनरैवल द एंडलेस पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एज अ सर्वर्स एप्लीकेशंस इन आवर डेली लाइफ्स इट गिव्स मी एन इमेंस प्लेजर and privilege to part of generic talk series on software as a service beyond business exploring potential applications in everyday life leadership is a complex moral relationship between a people based on trust obligation commitment emotion and the shared of vision of the good and here we have such leader professor dr k balasubhatra ma'am head of the it department rmd engineering college now i request dr k balasubhatra ma'am to welcome the chief guest of the day please ma'am thank you sir a very good afternoon to everyone of you present here it is my immense pleasure to be the part of this event uh, i deem it a great pleasure to welcome wholeheartedly our today's speaker mr hubert rosario felix principal engineer tech support Nielsen IQ Chennai welcome rosario welcome our principal all the heads of the departments all faculty members and my dear students of rmk group of institution a glimpse about the talk series apart from the teaching learning process the generic talk series and tech talk series are the wonderful initiatives of our management this lecture series are scheduled every sunday on various domains to facilitate the students and faculty members to be aware of new technological advancement and and to know about what is going on in the industries and can update their knowledge according to the expectation of the industries our today's topic is software as a service beyond business exploring potential application in everyday life so to unleash where uh, we are unravel the endless possibilities of saas applications in our daily life once again on behalf of our management principals deans heads of the departments faculty members and students on my own behalf today i render my heartfelt welcome to our proud alumni mr rosario to talk the session thank you thank you for giving this opportunity thank you so much ma'am May I now invite Dr. V. Prasanna Srinivasan, Professor, Department of IT, who is an embodiment of an unwavering determination, to introduce our chief guest today. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to all. It is my immense pleasure in introducing Mr. Hubert Rosario Felix to the August gathering for today's uh, generic talk series. Hubert Rosario Felix is our proud alumni. Completed his B.Tech Information Technology from RMD Engineering College in the year 2012. He is currently working as a Principal Engineer Technical Support in Nielsen IQ, Chennai. He started his career as a Technical Support Engineer in 2012, where he is placed through our campus drive. Now, totally, he has an experience over 11 years in SAS industry, that is, software as a service industry. He is an information technology, information library, ITIL certified professional. He is a passionate and eager to learn latest technological trends. He went for Mexico for training uh, two months okay, for a particular team in 2016. As part of expanding the global tech support coverage, he trained some of the teams in, there in Mexico. He has also traveled globally and worked in Paris and France for about four years, from 2018 to 22. He is uh, very much has an experience in working with cloud-based technologies and tools like Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage, ADLS, and Snowflake DB. He also has a passion to read non-fiction books and write poetry in his free time. Also, he is an astronomy enthusiast too. On behalf of our management, principals, deans, faculty, and students of all the three institutes, I once again welcome Mr. Hubert Rosario Felix to deliver this generic talk. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you all. 
Thank you so much, sir. Now I request our chief guest to address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, Sir uh, Ma'am, Impressional Sir, Sarvanan Sir, everyone for the presentation today, Ma'am. Uh, thank you for giving this opportunity. It's uh, uh, great to be here and uh, uh, be back again in uh, in in, uh, uh, in the virtual college environment. Uh, so, uh, so we we can uh, start the session. I, I believe, Sir. Uh, let me uh, share my screen. Is my screen visible, sir? Yeah, yes, yes, Rosal, you can you can start. Yes, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Sir. Uh, so uh, today we, we will uh, see about the SARS uh, uh, business model and uh, what what we uh, uh, apply in our day to day, -to -day life uh, beyond business. Right. Uh, to talk about the SARS model, it's like uh, it's an innovative cloud technology uh, uh, that uh, that offers uh, lower operational cost. Uh, administrative low administrative and uh, uh, lead generation costs compared to the traditional software development methods. Okay, it also improves uh, scalability, amplifies security, and enhances customer satisfaction. That is the objective of the uh, SaaS model. But in order to understand the uh, the SaaS model, we first need to understand what exactly is a cloud computing, because SaaS is a uh, uh, is a uh, one of the cloud computing model uh, type of the service that we have under the cloud computing. So. Let's see what a cloud computing is. So uh, right now we we are uh, connected to this session uh, using uh, our personal laptops or mobile phones. And uh, let's say like we have uh, more than 100 plus uh, 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 people connected to this session, uh, right? So imagine how much uh, uh, of the re computer resources that we use uh, right now uh, per individual system, I, I mean, like uh, the processor uh, memory or uh, network bandwidth right now. Uh, right. So, on an average, if, if we uh, uh, use the uh, the browsing uh, or uh, standard uh, programs like uh, uh, Microsoft Office or uh, the normal uh, uh, normal uh, programs like uh, 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 the browser or or if you watch a video, uh, the normal CPU usage will be like between uh, ten percent and thirty percent. And uh, if uh, in 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 terms of gaming, we can push the CPU usage between uh, fifty to ninety percent. So on an all average, the memory usage can be around like uh, forty to sixty percent. But network bandwidth can uh, reach maximum by like uh, uh, thirty to forty percent in in an average usage. Right. We never really use the hundred uh, percent uh, computer resources, even though we pay pay for the full uh, resource that. Uh, uh, that that we want. Right. So imagine uh, what we so uh, sorry, excuse me. so imagine uh, like we we have like uh, uh, a minimal usage of the resources that we have, but there is a, a lot of unused resources that are available uh, in in each of our uh, uh, computers, individual computers. So uh, imagine if there is a way we can access to the unused resources, right? If if we we combine uh, if we collaborate all the uh, all our systems and if we have a, a a way to access the unused unused resources of all our systems together and collectively, that will be a huge advantage, right? We 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 uh, have a uh, huge advantage over, over uh, uh, the, the the way that we access the uh, the computing, right? We we will get huge compute power. Uh, in in terms of uh, uh, network uh, uh, CPU and memory, right? so it, it is the same concept that we have in the cloud computing, where uh, uh, instead of uh, physical machines, we use uh, uh, virtual uh, uh, computers, virtual servers, where uh, uh, we have uh, uh, shared uh, resources uh, pooling, where where we can uh, use uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, memory or the CPU compute uh, uh, and the storage where we can use uh, as a pay as a, as we go uh, method. So that is the uh, uh, the the main uh, advantage of cloud computing. So 
so it it, it uh, uh, manages uh, 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 it, it's like a, a, a convenient on demand uh, uh, network access with a shared resource like uh, network storage uh, so, uh, service application and services and uh, it can be accessed uh, through uh, uh, minimal effort from uh, uh, user end uh, without uh, an intervening service provider right? that is the the uh, uh, the concept of cloud computing so going to the next uh, slide we have the cloud service models so uh, there are many me. there are many service models available uh, now so the major uh, three uh, are uh, the infrastructure as a service, a platform as a service, and software as a service. So these three are the main uh, uh, service models available under the cloud uh, architecture. Uh, I, I can explain this in a more technical way, but uh, uh, I don't want to uh, go with the boring uh, technical way. So let's take this uh, uh, examples in, in a, uh, uh, a more easy understanding way. So let's take uh, a traditional uh, dairy farming business. Uh, right. So uh, let's say uh, a person is uh, trying to sell uh, uh, milk. He, he he has some uh, uh, ten cows in his uh, uh, farm, and he wants to uh, sell sell his sell sell the milk uh, as, uh, and and uh, uh, do his living. Right. Uh, if he he ha uh, gets a demand for uh, uh, demand for this milk, uh, he he needs to buy more more cow, and he has to expand his business, and he has to set up and maintain the. Uh, uh, the the farm, so it, it's in in a way it is uh, like uh, it's a drawback where uh, scaling up and down based on the demand and it, it's a uh, it's a more uh, cost incurred and the maintenance is also challenging, right? Uh, let, let's uh, uh, take the same uh, uh, business model in in the cloud uh, uh, in the in the, trade, uh, the cloud service model uh, concepts. Imagine if if a, a, a company or, or, or an organization uh, creates an infrastructure uh, for, for the cow farming business, they can provide you. Uh, they can provide the cows, uh, cow farms, and the cows. Uh, Im imagine like the cows. Uh, cows represent the CPUs here, right? Uh, so these are all managed by the service providers. What the customers will need to do is uh, they need to maintain the cow, and uh, they uh, they need to manage the food, and uh, they need to process the milk produced by them, and they they can sell. So this is a concept of like infrastructure as a service. Uh, the infrastructure and and the compute part that is the CPUs uh, that is the cows. The, these are all provided by the uh, service provider. Only thing the customer need to manage is uh, they they need to uh, feed for the uh, their cows and they they need to uh, process and uh, uh, produce them and they they can sell it. So that's an example of uh, IAS. Uh, IAS is the infrastructure as service. Uh, so. Uh, in, in in terms of uh, the the business model, uh, many of the uh, 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 companies uh, 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 tend to use for the the uh, uh, they can uh, in in terms of network uh, providing uh, they they tend to use the private networks uh, or express routeways uh, for few hours because of uh, uh, security reasons they don't want to share their uh, uh, data with other uh, networks. So uh, coming to the platform as a service uh, model. Uh, here, this is an uh, uh, on top of the IAS model. Here, uh, the uh, in, in, additional to the infrastructure uh, process, they uh, the companies uh, will uh, uh, manage to uh, deliver uh, developing and uh, testing tools and uh, managing uh, managing for the cloud applications, and they can uh, uh, offer uh, solutions to uh, the uh, uh, software developing uh, uh, platform where they can. Uh, the customers can use that uh, tools to uh, develop their softwares. In the previous model, IAS, uh, customers need to uh, install their own softwares uh, on, on top of the infrastructure and they, they need to uh, create their uh, applications. Whereas in the uh, platform as a service, uh, it, it will come, come with the inbuilt uh, uh, developmental tools where there we can use to uh, uh, develop their own uh, applications. Uh, so this is the uh, the model of the uh, uh, platform as service. In in terms of uh, cow farming, uh, I would say like uh, uh, the the infrastructure and the uh, the maintenance of the cows are uh, managed by the service providers, where uh, the uh, uh, the user can uh, go and uh, the person can go and uh, uh, feed the cow, and then uh, they can uh, uh, produce the milk, uh, process the produced milk, and they can uh, sell it as they as per the need. Okay. So if in in case uh, there is a, a demand increase, they can uh, 
uh, expand to more uh, house that is more cpus and and they can uh, uh, scale up and scale down based on the demand right so this is the uh, the uh, paas method that is the uh, platform as a service coming to the uh, saas model that is software as a service it's a, a, a complete package right it provides a, a, a full application stack as a service to the customers where they can uh, access it uh, uh, through a web browser and uh, uh, through a direct network, right? Uh, it's like uh, they, they don't need to uh, install anything uh, or they, they don't need to uh, own a software uh, license to access this. It, it's completely managed by the service provider. And uh, so, uh, for example, in, in, in this uh, uh, context, uh, the everything, uh, the, the cow farm, uh, cows, and uh, the food maintenance uh, are all managed by the uh, service provider. Only the customer need to go uh, and uh, uh, process the produced milk, and uh, they can sell it. That's the uh, 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 the uh, uh, difference between the uh, uh, the infrastructure as service, uh, platform as service, and software as service uh, business model, uh, right? Uh, in in all three cases, uh, the compute power that is uh, uh, the number of uh, 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 CPUs can, that CPUs are, are uh, in, in in this context cows can be uh, scaled up and down as per the requirement. If there is a demand, uh, they can uh, increase the uh, uh, the number of uh, uh, cows, or or they can uh, reduce it based on the requirement. Right. So it, th this is the main advantage of the cloud model, especially in the SaaS uh, process where. Uh, the compute cup, compute power can be scaled up and down based on the usage. So wh whatever uh, uh, data that uh, uh, that that they use uh, or uh, uh, that they are willing to get in the output, they can uh, scale the compute power and and uh, uh, process their data uh, quickly and and uh, efficiently. Right. So in, in any case, the input data uh, feed is mostly managed by the customer part. That is not uh, most of the cases that is not managed by the service provider. So this is the uh, the difference between uh, uh, the three uh, cloud service models, right? Going to the next slide. So this is uh, uh, this will will uh, talk in detail about the software as a service uh, uh, business model. It's more of a licensing and a delivery model where uh, it, it, the software is licensed on a subscription basis uh, and it is centrally hosted. <coughs> Sometimes it is referred as on-demand uh, software. Right? In in uh, uh, most of the cases, it, it it's an entire application stack uh, delivered in the cloud uh, uh, cloud based environment, and uh, users can access it uh, directly through uh, a web browser or or any uh, IoT device that they have uh, connected to the internet. Right? In 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 this case, uh, in in the SaaS model, uh, since uh, every uh, 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 the whole package is managed by the, uh, the service provider. Users don't need to worry about the uh, the regular uh, updates or uh, the, if, if there is any bug, the, the bug fixes or uh, the overall maintenance uh, maintenance of the product software. They they don't need to worry about it. Everything will be managed by the the service provider, and uh, it it as I said, it can be accessed through a simple web application, web browser, and uh, uh, they don't need to install anything uh, in in their local machines. It's all uh, managed through a virtual application. Let's go to the next slide. So, what are the benefits of SaaS? So, uh, there are many benefits of SaaS uh, model. Uh, I have listed a few here. The first one is uh, is the cost effectiveness, uh, right? Uh, the reason uh, it, it is uh, referred to as a cost-effective model is because it's a, a pay-as-you-use uh, subscription model, right? Uh, say, for example, uh, let, let's let's take uh, uh, Netflix, for example. Netflix is one of the best uh, SaaS uh, model where we, we pay as a subscription model, uh, whether we can use it, uh, uh, subscribe as a monthly basis or uh, yearly basis. Uh, and uh, we, we use the... Uh, uh, the product as efficient because like uh, we, we can get access to a lot of uh, media contents uh, that we, we we will not get at the same price uh, in, in a traditional business model right so this is one uh, good example uh, to say for uh, the uh, cost effectiveness of this software right it it, it actually uh, uh, 
the SaaS model shifts the ownership of uh, software from a customer perspective to a service provider perspective. So we we don't actually own the software, but we own the service. Right? We 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 get the service, but we we, we don't need to pay for the license. So that is the main advantage of the SaaS model. And second advantage is the reduced time. So reduced time in the sense like uh, you don't need to like uh, install the applications directly and. Uh, 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 install and update uh, the applications time to time. You, you just go to the web browser, you can directly access the uh, uh, the service through their uh, web link and we can we can access it directly and instantly. And uh, the third one is accessibility. That is, uh, you, you can access it from anywhere in, in the world. Like whether you, you, you are uh, traveling to your office or your college or you can, uh, if you are uh, you're in your hometown or you, you're in the office or uh, in, in your outside, Anywhere you, if you have an internet uh, device that you can uh, use, you, you you can access those uh, softwares and you can access uh, access the service. And uh, scalability that is uh, uh, one thing that that uh, as I explained, it it, it can be uh, uh, use users can access the services and uh, features on demand. So when whenever they want, whenever they want, they can access the uh, uh, contents of the uh, uh, SaaS applications. And uh, automatic updates, uh, as I said, users don't need to worry about the automatic updates because it's all uh, managed by the uh, the service provider. Because it's it's uh, uh, you have paid for the uh, the complete package, so uh, the automatic updates is for everyone. Like it, it's not like uh, in traditional uh, applications, like if, if your uh, your organization has like uh, hundreds of systems, you you have to update your uh, uh, applications in every system. So they, uh, I, I remember in, in uh, uh, previously in, in my uh, organizations, like uh, uh, we, we will receive notifications regularly for uh, keeping our systems up to date and update our uh, uh, software regularly. So in in, in the cloud model, uh, especially the SaaS uh, uh, business model, we have the automatic updates managed from the uh, service provider side. So if it is Update it centrally; it will be updated for every user. You you you, you don't need to uh, wait for the update to reflect for one user and the other. We, so that is managed by uh, completely by the service provider. Okay. So these are some of the benefits of the SaaS. So let's go to the next slide. So this is the uh, let, let's talk about the business journey, right? Uh, business journey of SaaS. Uh, so uh, we will see about uh, the the growth of the cloud uh, and uh, the challenges that uh, the companies faced in uh, implementing the cloud solutions and the benefits that they got uh, for implementing this uh, uh, the method, right? In, uh, from 2008 to 2018, uh, it is uh, identified that the global uh, public cloud market uh, was grown from less than 6 million uh, US dollars uh, to 178 billion uh, US dollars, right? So that is like a 30% increase uh, in, in a decade. So uh, it's it's not a gradual, uh, I mean, it's it's not a sudden increase, it's a gradual increase. Uh, so if you, if you uh, go to uh, statistar.com and uh, uh, go to this, uh, uh, in, uh, the, the, the st statistics of this uh, research, you, you, you will understand that the growth is uh, it's a step-by-step -step growth. It, it's not a sudden increase. Why Why it took a decade actually to reach this 178 million, right? So there were challenges uh, in, in uh, incorporating cloud in their uh, in, in every organization globally. Okay. Uh, especially because uh, I, I believe in, in the end of uh, 2007 uh, to the mid of 2009, uh, there was a, a great recession uh, period happened. And, Post-2009, companies were recovering from recession, so it was uh, a giant step uh, to adopt new technology, especially a technology like uh, cloud. Right? So it, it was entirely a, a new uh, technology at that time, and uh, uh, not many people had a uh, complete understanding of the technology. And uh, they, they need to uh, acquire the, the knowledge on this technology, and uh, uh, many, many companies were in dilemma whether they can uh, move to the new technology or not. because. Uh, the main uh, uh, reason for that is because of the implementation cost, right? Uh, though uh, uh, on a longer run, it it it, it is a uh, uh, cost-effective method. Uh, the initial stage is that to, to implement and uh, uh, establish the cloud applications, uh, cloud technology in their applications, uh, that that will be a huge uh, uh, cost-bearing uh, process uh, compared to the traditional business. 
right? Uh, consider uh, considering data security or uh, be it uh, refactoring cloud migration, like uh, they, they need to build their application from the scratch uh, in, in a different technology, a different uh, programming language uh, that is compatible to the cloud. Uh, so uh, they, they uh, need time and resource uh, for uh, uh, for this project and uh, they had to uh, uh, find uh, 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 different funds for this, uh, right? So these are the challenges that uh, the companies faced. And uh, in terms of data security, uh, so the, the customer sensitive uh, personal information will be stored online in, in the cloud. So it requires like robust measures to uh, protect against uh, the unauthorized access and data breaches and uh, other cyber threats. So uh, th there were like uh, uh, some serious uh, cyber threat uh, uh, in, in the cloud environment. And uh, uh, so uh, it, 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 uh, it requires a, a great amount of measures to, uh, uh, to create that uh, uh, authentication systems that uh, has high level security access, right? And uh, besides these uh, uh, challenges, even, even though uh, companies face these challenges, many of the, uh, uh, the high uh, uh, revenue companies uh, opted for uh, moving to the cloud uh, one by one. So uh, the benefits of it is like, uh, apart from the revenue growth, uh, as you can see in, in a decade, it grown from uh, less than 6 billion to 178 billion. Apart from this revenue growth, there are uh, other main reasons. Uh, the two things that I wanted to highlight here is, uh, the one thing is the survival in the evolution, evolving uh, tech era, right? So uh, if, if a technology is, uh, uh, if, if a new technology is uh, launched, uh, not not every new technology is going to be uh, uh, successful, right? Uh, we, we, we have seen uh, many of the uh, technologies that, uh, that were uh, launched in the past uh, that, that was, we, we don't remember it. Uh, uh, during the time of launch, it was like uh, at the peak of, uh, peak of the talk in town. But uh, now if we, if we, we, we don't remember it much often. Uh, but in, in terms of cloud technology, it, it was not the case, right? So uh, it, 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 it all started like uh, uh, in, uh, let's uh, go with an example of uh, uh, the Apple, right? In uh, January 9, 2007, uh, the then CEO of Apple, uh, Mr. Steve Jobs, introduced an, uh, the first original iPhone, uh, right? The way he introduced that iPhone, uh, it it created a uh, it created a paradigm shift in the uh, in the mobile phone industry. So Apple stock went up twelve percent in the next two days. Right, it it forced actually the comp competitors uh, Apple's competitors to create a similar uh, uh, product uh, like like uh, the Apple iPhone. Okay. I believe Samsung introduced its uh, its full touch phone uh, uh, in the next two three years. So. Uh, that followed by many uh, uh, competitors launching similar phones. So that that uh, uh, created a, a, a much uh, 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 impact in, in the in the in the mobile phone technology, where uh, most of the products were uh, moved from the uh, traditional Symbian OS and uh, uh, BlackBerry OS to the to the uh, the Android and iPhone. Uh, so. Uh, why why the competitors uh, did this uh, they they could have remained in their old technology right so why why they they wanted to compete with apple and they they wanted to uh, go with the uh, with, with this uh, they want to adopt this new technology because they they want to survive and to scale up their uh, business imagine if if some of the com uh, companies uh, remained in their original uh, 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 model of working they would have been eradicated by now so because of uh, all the latest tech evolutions are based on the uh, the software uh, uh, model that Apple and uh, Google are setting up right now, right? So uh, that that is the uh, uh, vision that uh, uh, Mr. Steve Jobs had at that time, and he he wanted to scale up uh, the technological evolution uh, uh, to a different level. So, uh, so that that's the main reason. Uh, that uh, the competitors of Apple uh, have gone with uh, uh, developing similar phones, right? So from that point, we uh, we uh, see a different uh, 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 evolution in the technology. 
in in terms of mobile mobiles and uh, uh, computer computer itself. Yeah. So that that is the one of the reason uh, uh, companies uh, tend to scale up to the uh, different uh, latest technologies and uh, try to evolve in the tech era. They they can uh, so that they can scale up to the uh, additional uh, uh, evolution of the latest technology. So if they remain in the old technology, uh, th there will not be like much uh, 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 benefits uh, or uh, in in the latest uh, uh, tech evolutions that that are not compatible with their older technologies. So, so that is the main uh, benefit of uh, uh, most of the companies migrating to the cloud. Moving to the next slide, we have the market uh, growth for projections of SaaS. So uh, this uh, uh, report was based on the Fortune Business Insights. Uh, there is a comparison of uh, global uh, SaaS market size uh, and uh, the Indian SaaS market size. In uh, 2022, uh, the global SaaS market was uh, uh, estimated to be like uh, two uh, thirty seven point four eight billion US dollars, whereas the Indian market was uh, thirteen billion. In uh, twenty twenty five, it is estimated uh, uh, to uh, to be projected as uh, two seventy three point five five billion uh, US dollars for the global market and twenty five billion for the Indian market. Whereas in twenty thirty, it is expected that uh, the global market will reach uh, highest of uh, nine hundred eight point two one billion US dollars, and uh, the Indian market will reach around uh, seventy billion US dollars. So this, uh, this, uh, the global market uh, will be in in, in uh, uh, twenty thirty will be at a, a compound annual growth rate of eighteen point seven uh, for the forecasting period twenty twenty three to twenty thirty. So. Uh, this is the uh, the, uh, the market projections uh, that uh, the fo uh, Fortune Business Insights uh, 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 published. So, uh, so this is a, a trend that uh, uh, that that will uh, uh, show us how fast the uh, SaaS uh, market is growing in in the global economy and also in the Indian economy. Right. So, we we see uh, how it grows. So we'll, we'll now see why it grows. The main reason for, for, for the growth of SaaS in, in the global and Indian market, right? The first thing that we would say is uh, the increased online customers, right? So even before uh, uh, the COVID, we had uh, more online uh, shopping and online uh, uh, customer centric applications. But uh, during and after COVID, it, it uh, uh, created a, a really uh, an impact in, in in the market where we 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 had a, a demand for the online uh, uh, shopping right the online customers increased uh, even the FMCG uh, online cons consumers were increased in the post uh, COVID uh, process because it, it created a demand for online business uh, the SaaS based applications offer that flexibility uh, to scale as per the need and uh, keep the cost under control so that even small businesses can attempt to utilize them, right? So uh, that is one of the reasons. Uh, the other reason is the shift towards uh, remote and hybrid work. So uh, before uh, COVID, there was no, uh, not uh, uh, much uh, talk about the the work from home uh, culture, right? We we, we have uh, uh, work from home in, in rare cases where uh, we, we uh, in, in rare cases, we will take work from home one or two days, but uh, after COVID, uh, it, it created a really uh, 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 a change in the work culture where uh, we have a hybrid work model where uh, we go to office for like uh, two or three days in a week and uh, the remaining days we can work from home. Right. So uh, with any internet connection as their gateway, uh, individuals can access their uh, software tools and data uh, regardless of their location. So anywhere in the location, anywhere in the world, they can access their uh, applications and they can work on it. So this fosters a unified workplace where projects progress in real life and they can share their uh, files effortlessly between colleagues and synchronized processes everywhere uh, in, and everyone in the same page across devices and platforms. Right? So this is one uh, the second main reason uh, why SaaS is growing uh, nowadays. And uh, the third main reason is the growth of AI. This contributes a tremendous amount of uh, uh, 
pro progress in the in the uh, in the growth of saas right uh, companies enhance their services while gaining insights into their target audiences needs through data driven analysis because of the incorporating of ai in their applications so this will increase the rate return on uh, interest and uh, the reduce the input enables uh, business to improve efficiency and intelligence while minimizing the cost through ai integration right so it 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 will create like an uh, a paradigm shift between the investment they do and and the return they get right so uh, so this is one of the huge reasons why uh, nowadays many of the companies are incorporating ai into their uh, organizations uh, uh, progress and that that will create a huge impact in their uh, revenue growth as well so coming to the next slide this saas new to us is it like uh, are we uh, uh, using the saas applications only in the recent times the answer is no we have been using the mail communications and messenger services uh, since since ages so it's a kind of a saas application where uh, we send and receive data over the internet right and uh, many applications right now many uh, companies uh, like uh, google uh, 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 yahoo and uh, other uh, applications hotmail these these uh, 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 companies uh, provide uh, email and communication services and uh, even google and microsoft provide uh, uh, office productivity applications like uh, the office 365 suite and uh, uh these uh, these things uh, uh, help us stay connected between our uh, friends and colleagues uh, in in uh, personal and uh, work life and uh, they they also comes in a free version and also uh, as a paid subscription model where uh, we have get, we, we can get additional uh, uh, features uh, in, in in the paid model right uh, for example uh, linkedin will have a, a, a a premium account where we can get additional uh, services uh, for, for the uh, paid model okay. so these these are all one of uh, uh, saas kind uh, in similar way uh, in, in the uh, applications that we use for uh, commute right uh, like uh, uh, google maps be it google maps or apple maps or uh, uh, the uh, uh, the taxi apps like we use for uh, booking taxis ola uber and uh, even a uh, bike taxis rapido so these uh, applications use the saas model uh, to give you the service that they they tend to give right you you, you don't uh, own the service i mean you you don't own the uh, the software you own the application you own the service and you pay for what you use right so uh, here uh, here also in, in many of the applications uh, uh, uh the integration of ai has uh, uh changed the way that uh, the services are provided uh, even for for uh, the commute apps like uh, uh even maps or uh, the ola apps uh the eta prediction method with the real time tracking and uh, real time traffic updates uh even in the maps you can locate your uh, nearby restaurants or attractions or any business that you want to visit so these uh, uh concepts are uh, uh, giving a huge advantage over uh, uh, uh the personal and the work life where uh, people can use these options and uh, they can uh, for their productivity right and uh, a considered productivity app like uh, uh, cloud for cloud storage you can use uh, dropbox and for uh, office use or if you want to take a, a note while uh, uh, attending an online meeting you can use evernote or uh even in in uh, microsoft uh, uh, teams uh, we they have incorporated ai so that uh, that can take notes for you uh, now so it, it's a, uh, there is a, a great development in, in the uh, in the, in the ai uh, uh, technology uh, in, in the recent times right so and even like uh, uh, there are uh, many applications even uh, the one that we use right now uh, so the zoom application is one of uh, the saas uh, model that uh, that we we uh, have uh, even it has a paid version and also a, a basic version where we can use uh, certain features uh, in, in the paid version uh, compared to the the unpaid version okay. and also like uh, the media uh, in in terms of media uh, so there is a great example uh, as i said netflix is one of the great example for uh, survival and scaling uh, net be netflix prime video Uh, or audible where you can listen to audiobooks 
there are many number of audio books in uh, in the audible uh, uh, application and also there is an application called blinkist uh, it will it's a book summarizing subscription service uh, which will give you uh, key insights as a 15 minute read for any any book that you want uh, that is available in the blinkist uh, 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 cloud cloud platform okay. so uh, these are kind of uh, or even youtube uh, you you can watch uh, the videos and you can uh, or a uh, live stream uh, or you can uh, uh, watch any uh, uh, if you want to learn anything about uh, technology it's you know you can you can uh, use it you uh, use youtube to uh, uh, to look for it so uh, the, these are some of the uh, applications that we use on a regular basis even uh, for online shopping uh, say uh, nowadays like you you can buy anything in online right uh, from uh, uh, so fmcg goods Uh, groceries. Uh, you, if you want to buy a gift, you can order it online. If you want to buy a cake, you you can order it online. Uh, uh, tech and durables. If you want to buy a mobile phone, laptop, anything that you can buy online nowadays, right? So everything is uh, comes to your it comes to you in 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 a, a total package through a SaaS application. Right? So if you take a Flipkart, Amazon, uh, Swiggy, or a Mintra. these applications are providing what they are actually doing is providing a saas based solution for 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 your need right uh, even if you take uh, uh, banking applications like uh, uh, your uh, uh, traditional banking applications or uh, the upis uh, upi apps like uh, phone pay uh, paytms and uh, even trading apps like zero the or uh, i say say that like angel one so these things uh th these uh, companies provide uh, the saas applications uh for 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 the uh, for the needs of the people's daily use right and also like in, in the the health and fitness uh, uh, area nowadays we have uh, uh apps that can track our daily workout routines uh, you you don't need to even uh, uh, give input that you you are uh, doing your workout it can automatically detect your uh, uh, by by observing your uh, behavior pattern if you are uh, walking for like more than 10 minutes uh, if, if you are walking for more than 5 to 10 minutes it, it can automatically detect that you are uh, walking and you, it it will start your activity uh, tracker uh, right uh, apple fitness do that uh, so you, you you don't uh, it, it it's uh, the way that uh, the technology has evolved in 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 the day to day applications that we use uh it, it it's tremendous we 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 cannot uh, uh imagine the the way that uh, that the evolution is happening in, in terms of uh, uh technology around us right and uh, and also like uh, uh applications like uh, practo or connect and heal uh these uh these applications will help you uh, connect with the doctors online uh, you can uh, book your appointments uh, and consult with your doctors online and also you can visit uh, uh, clinical appointments and also you can book a uh, uh, blood test through online and they they will come and uh, uh, collect your blood uh, at your home right so uh, even you can buy medicines online uh, with with the proper prescriptions nowadays uh, apollo apps do that uh, that can help you uh, even buy medicines online uh, so th there are like uh, if, if imagine if uh, uh, that, that that will be a huge uh, 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 help for uh, elderly people where they they don't need to uh, go out and uh, uh, buy medicines or uh, they 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 need to uh, consult with some doctor but they don't know uh, they they don't want to uh, visit the clinic directly, right? Uh, during COVID, it was a uh, very helpful for many people uh, to consult with doctors online because they 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 avoid contacting with uh, uh, with the virus when when they go out. So, right? so uh, that is one of the uh, uh, one of the applications. In in terms of the health and fitness uh, category, and uh, coming to the uh, smart home technology, right? So uh, in 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 India, this is a, a growing market, right? But in in the Western and uh, European countries, uh, this is already an established market where uh, most of the uh, uh, households are having a smart home technology. Right? Uh, be it in uh, Alexa or Google Nest, uh, they manage their uh, uh, smart homes like uh, smart lights, security cameras, uh, smart appli appliances, uh, smart TV, and smart smoke detectors. Uh, they they can if if some uh, smoke alarm went off, they can uh, if, if I I am at office and uh, some smoke alarm went in my home, 
i can uh, uh, check check it in in my app and i can see actually what's happening inside through my uh, alexa uh, nest cam and i can uh, see whether it is a, a, a false trigger or or I, it's really an emergency that i need to go back to my home right so uh, and also like uh, there are like biometric locks available now even in india where we can uh, lock the app through biometric uh, uh, authentication and we can also uh, remotely open the lock through apps so if if uh, you don't need to carry your uh, key uh, uh, when you go out you 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 just need a fingerprint or you, your mobile phone to unlock your uh, your your lock so even thermostats uh, thermostats is like it, it can control the room temperature of uh, uh, of the households right so th these are mainly uh, used, uh, thermostat is uh, commonly used in the european and western countries uh, considering the climate uh, in, in those regions right so uh, these are some of the uh, uh, the smart home tech even uh, uh, there are uh, implement implementations of uh, robot vacuums uh, uh in, in in many households where uh, that can be used to clean the house so that is one of uh, uh, uh best example that we can say for uh, the application of uh, saas you can monitor it and you can tell what to do where to clean uh, through a mobile app so so that is a, a great example and in even in terms of edu education uh, department uh there are various learning and virtual classrooms available uh, like uh, coursera udemy and uh, even linkedin learning google classrooms uh, these these applications provide uh, uh, various uh, uh, learning programs and uh, various level of learning knowledge and certification programs that uh, people can use to avail certifications and uh, uh, in, uh, improve their knowledge on, in in various uh, technologies and concepts right and uh, even digital libraries uh, uh, say for example the british council library it has huge volumes of data in the cloud uh, be it an audio book or uh, 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 any, any number of ebooks that uh, magazines and uh, even uh, uh, bio uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, many uh, uh, digital uh, resources that they have in, in in the british council library that can be accessed uh, through their uh, uh, web app applications so these these are all uh, examples of uh, saas model uh, applications that we daily use what i have said here is uh, is a uh, small minuscule of list there, there are many huge applications of uh, saas that i i uh, not not listed here it, it, it cannot be listed in a single slide right so uh, uh, i i i can tell you that you, you, you go and explore uh, what all the applications that we use normally uh, in, in our day to day lives and uh, uh, so we we can uh, uh, truly understand the uh, the vastness of this so, so going to the next slide that is the future trends and technology right so uh, what what will be the future of saas so uh, three things that will uh, uh, majorly impact the saas applications one is the ai and edge computing and uh, the other one is the uh, the augmented and virtual reality sometimes we call it a mixed reality and the third one is the virtual assistant okay. so all the three things uh, that uh, that i say said now is based on the customer centric uh, strategy it will be it, it, it's been and it will be developed uh, through uh, based on the customer centric strategy are technologies that effectively solves the problem but also affordable in the longer run that will be the the main uh, goal for the for the future in in saas because uh, right now the implementation of uh, uh, few uh, technologies are uh, are uh, uh, costing much but on on the longer run that will be uh, uh, turned into an affordable and uh, uh, customer centric uh, programs okay in terms of ai uh that will give the personalized uh, interaction and automation of processes and in insightful uh, data analytics uh it will improve the customer satisfaction and reduce our operational cost actually it, it can help with uh, better data analytics for forecasting and uh, uh, it can help with informed decision making and uh, uh, in in terms of security uh, it, it can help in uh, anomaly detection and uh, uh, helps in the major uh, uh majorly in the cyber security uh, right 
and uh, sometimes you if uh, when when in online shopping like uh, in amazon or uh, flipkart if you ordered something you would have noticed uh, uh, a notification saying that like uh, people who have purchased this item has also purchased uh, some of the other items like this they they list uh, some items right uh, this is one of the implementation of ai it, it is called a recommender engine where uh, uh, it will analyze the behavior of the people uh, that are buying and it will suggest uh, 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 products that that will suit your needs and if if you uh, you, you, you may like to buy right and also uh, examples like uh, uh, if you take a uh, uh, self driving cars like tesla uh, it has a, uh, a technology called computer vision right it helps to see uh, the it helps to see uh, see it helps the car to see the objects in front of the car and uh, uh, make informed decisions where, uh, while uh, doing the self drive so this is one of the uh, uh, main use of uh, ai in in uh, self driving cars right and uh, in terms of edge computing edge computing is a, a, a recent uh, bus in in the technology environment where uh, the concept is like uh, in 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 the cloud part uh, the if if you do the processing in the uh, if you uh, get the data from the source and you process the data in the cloud the processing and the compute will will uh, uh, generate a huge cost it it will attract a huge cost so to reduce the cost uh, there is a, a concept called edge computing that is recently uh, uh, in the bus that it will allow you to uh, do the computing in the, near the source part and it will uh, uh, push the processed data to, to the cloud so it, in a way it is uh, cost effective and uh, uh, low latency and enhanced reliability uh, by bringing computation closer to the data source right especially for real time applications it also reduces the bandwidth uh, cost uh, if if data can be processed locally right so uh, one question that may arise now is should we uh, for companies like should we really uh, incorporate uh, latest technologies like ai and edge computing because uh, implementing ai will be uh, again it, it, it's uh, the implementation cost will be huge but uh, well, well the similar uh, uh, story that i said about uh, uh the the apple uh, uh iphone launch right or uh, or even if you take uh, the netflix story uh netflix was actually launched as a, a subscription subscription based uh, uh, dvd rental service through mail uh, they will uh, post your uh, dvds to your home uh, on a subscription basis you can subscribe for uh, monthly or uh, yearly and they, they will uh, post your uh, uh, post the dvds to your home uh it, it actually started in 1997 uh right but it scaled up to online streaming only in 2007 so 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 that that is uh, that is the best example of uh, uh uh incorporating the latest technology right so that that uh, uh created a uh, uh, an environment where uh, the competitors were uh, uh, forced to uh, follow a similar uh, suit uh, otherwise they they will be uh out of business right so a uh, similar way like uh if if companies uh don't include ai uh, now or, or in the future uh there, there is a chance that they uh, they they uh, cannot adapt to the future technologies uh, uh evolution because uh, whatever uh, evolution that will happen in technology uh, environment from from now on that will uh, uh purely based on the ai industry and uh, uh, the saas uh, model so uh whatever that uh, they do they have to uh, uh incorporate the ai in 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 their uh, uh in, in their organizations then the second one is the uh, uh, ar and vr uh, 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 department where uh, recently I, I, i'm not sure if uh, many many of you seen the apple vision pro uh, recently launched uh, right so uh, that that is one of uh, uh, the best example of mixed reality you can uh, you, you can bring the uh, you, you can bring the uh, uh, your, your uh, mac computer or or you, you can bring your uh, whatever application that you use uh, in, into your uh, uh, goggles and you, you can you can work on it like you work on a regular uh, uh, machine right a regular laptop 
so that is uh, one of the, the the huge impact that it created uh, imagine like uh, uh, technologies like uh, apple vision pro or google glasses uh, incorporate maps uh, in, into their uh, uh, ar vr technology and uh, like you, you you don't need to look at your phone while you are driving right you can just simply uh, uh, put your glasses and you can uh, 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 get the access through uh, uh, you can get the navigation while, while you're driving you you don't need to look away right and also like uh, may, maybe like uh, in, in the future imagine like you can uh, compute the age of a tree with ar vr technology you can just point your uh, camera mobile in, 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 into a tree uh, you can put your uh, apple vision pro or uh, the ar vr glass uh, and if you see a, a, a tree it, it, it can uh, uh, compute the age uh, using ai so uh, even in the uh, medical and engineering field uh, people can uh, people can be uh, trained with the uh, live 3d models uh, we can visualize uh, an atom from the inside of atom and uh, explore the universe through uh, these technologies there are all vast applications of these technologies in, in the future right and even uh, in the medical field uh, access for uh, uh, access to care for pa 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 uh, patients and uh, caregivers through telemedicines that can be done through uh, these technologies surgery assistance in uh, real time can be done through uh, these technologies and uh, in in terms of uh, retail part like uh, if you want to go for shopping uh, you you don't need to uh, personally uh, visit the stores you can uh, uh, visit the virtual stores that where you can uh, try your uh, products and you can uh, uh, you, you can buy the products based on your likes right uh, in in actually in, in there is a, a survey uh, done by statista and uh, in 2020 the total value of the arvr uh, technology was estimated around uh, 15 uh, billion us dollars but in uh, 2025 it is expected to grow to up to uh, nearly 200 billion uh, us dollars right so this is the uh, uh, the growth of uh, arvr technology and Coming to the virtual assistance, uh, like uh, this is already we are in this era. Like uh, we uh, have like Alexa, Google Assistant, Microsoft Copilot. Uh, there are many other uh, uh, virtual assistants in the market. Uh, to, if we need to make a call or we, we need to open an app or we, we can simply, uh, uh, we, can, we can use it uh, uh, by hand or we can uh, simply uh, tell the virtual assistants to do for ourselves, right? Currently, uh, mobile phones and laptops are mostly handheld devices now. But in the future, uh, it it's uh, we, we don't know what the future will look like. It can be like a fully uh, uh, migrated to wearable devices like a Vision Pro or uh, 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 smart uh, gloves or something like that. Like so, in 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 that cases, most of the interactions to these smart devices will be through gestures and virtual assistants. So. Uh, in, in that case, like uh, the AI powered virtual assistants will have a massive impact in the daily lives of a common person, right? Uh, be it uh, in home or in office, uh, it, can, it can be more productive through uh, uh, these uh, technologies. So all these are, are in, in a way, it is an implementation of SaaS, right? They, they provide a, a, a software based uh, uh, service. So, uh, so we, we come to the end of the uh, session. So as we uh, wrap up our exploration of uh, uh, SaaS uh, model beyond business, uh, it's evident that uh, the possibilities are limitless. Uh, like from uh, simplifying our daily routines to uh, enhancing our uh, overall quality of life, SaaS has become an integral part of our modern living. Right? So we've seen how these uh, SaaS applications can uh, revolutionize the personal uh, finance management, be it uh, streamlining household tasks, or even optimizing our health and uh, well-being, and uh, but uh, beyond uh, these examples lies the countless opportunities and waiting to be discovered. Okay. And uh, so, as we move forward, I, I encourage each of you to think creatively about how we can leverage the uh, uh, the uh, how we can leverage the advantages of SaaS applications in our own lives. Whether it's uh, adopting new uh, uh, productivity tools or embracing new uh, uh, innovative health tracking apps, or even developing our own SaaS applications, there's no shortage of ways to incorporate technology into our daily life. So this uh, 
particularly this era of digital transformation, we should embrace it with open minds and willingness uh, to explore and endless possibilities of SARS that offers. So uh, we can uh, redefine the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us through uh, the implementation of SARS. So with that, I conclude this session and we'll move to the Q&A. If anyone has any questions, Participants, if you have any doubts and clarification, please make use of the session. Participants, please. We will move on to what of session. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, for presenting us with the treasure of your thoughts and insights. Now, I request Dr. Jodi Lakshmi, ma'am, Associate Professor, IT Department, RMD Engineering College, to give vote of thanks. Please, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Good evening to one and all present here. It's my pleasure to propose the vote of thanks on this great occasion. On behalf of the RMK group of institutions, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for making today's session a resounding success. First and foremost, I would like to express heartfelt gratitude to the esteemed management team for their visionary leadership, unwavering support and commitment to academic excellence. Your guidance has played a pivotal role in shaping the educational journey for students and fostering a condensive learning environment. I extend sincere thanks to our esteemed principal for his guidance and continuous encouragement in all of our endeavors. A special word of thanks goes to our distinguished resource person, Mr. Hubbard Rosario Felix, Principal Engineer, Nilsen IQ, Chennai. Your insightful presentation has opened our minds to the vast potential of SaaS applications in everyday life. Your expertise has truly enriched our understanding, and we are grateful for the time and effort you dedicated to enlighten us. Thank you, Rosaria. I would also like to express gratitude to all the attendees, both staff and staff students, whose active participation and enthusiasm have contributed to the vibrant atmosphere of today's session. Last but not least, I extend thanks to all the individuals who worked behind the scenes to organize and execute this session seamlessly. Once again, I <clears throat> express my sincere gratitude to everyone involved in making today's session a memorable and enriching experience. Thank you one and all. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Rosario. Thank you, Saranan, sir, for your uh, uh, conducting this session. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank, sir. You, thank, thank you. Thank you, Jodhi Lashmi, ma'am.